Today I want you to use what you've learned about Manifest Destiny to analyze a famous painting and to later create one of your own. But first, an overview of Manifest Destiny. As the United States expanded in the 1800s, many Americans were inspired by an idea known as Manifest Destiny. They believed that the United States had a duty to stretch westward to the Pacific Ocean and even beyond. In doing so, the nation would spread Protestant and Democratic ideals across the North American continent. The phrase Manifest Destiny was introduced by journalist John L. O'Sullivan in an 1845 newspaper article. In that year, the United States admitted Texas to the Union as the 28th state. Writing about the event, O'Sullivan spoke of America's manifest destiny to overspread the continent allotted by Providence for the free development of our yearly multiplying millions. Basically, he was saying that it was the right thing to do for Americans to take all the land stretching to the Pacific Ocean. The idea of Manifest Destiny was later used to justify the addition of Oregon, New Mexico, California, Alaska, and Hawaii to the United States. This Manifest Destiny painting called American Progress, Spirit of the Frontier was painted in 1872 by John Gast. The painting is an allegory of Manifest Destiny. An allegory is a visible symbol representing an abstract idea. Look closely at the painting. What images do you see? What messages and values are conveyed by this painting? The Manifest Destiny painting conveys the ideas of American progress in terms of transportation technologies and the spirit of the frontier. The Manifest Destiny painting depicts the following images, people, and events, and the inevitability of technological progress. Destiny, the powerful central figure of a mythical goddess heads westward, guiding pioneers and settlers to the new land, and conveys the impression that there was some providential purpose and guidance to the settlement of the land. Direction, the expansion and direction of pioneers and settlers from the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west. Native American Indians are shown fleeing from progress emphasizing the pervasive belief in American culture and racial superiority. The pioneers, traders, and prospectors are then represented in a group of people. These are followed by farmers cultivating the field with the use of the plow, representing the importance of agriculture to the early economy of the nation with a log cabin in the distance. The horse-drawn stagecoach is a historical reminder of one of the early forms of transportation. The background depicts steamboats on a river or a canal. There are three railroad lines off in the distance. The covered wagon or prairie schooner reflects the settler's transportation method along the Oregon Trail and the Santa Fe Trail. A lone rider in the background behind the wagon represents the communication system via the Pony Express. The Pony Express was replaced by the first telegraph line and Morse code which are represented by the telegraph lines. The manifest destiny of the United States was believed by many Americans to be providence and God's will. The Americans believed they were doing the right thing by settling the West. However, from our studies of the Native Americans, we know there is another, darker side to manifest destiny. Millions of Native Americans were killed or forced to leave their homelands as a result of manifest destiny. From the Native American perspective, Manifest Destiny was a threatening, negative, and even life or death event. Use the resources on our class website about Native American history and create a new version of the Manifest Destiny painting. Your new painting should be from the Native American perspective. Your new version of the Manifest Destiny painting can be drawn by hand or created by using any online drawing or graphic design application. Include at least five examples of symbolism and base your imagery on how the Native Americans viewed the American settlers moving west.